How about that, Derek England? I was with Dan Bilesma, and he was so proud. That night, there are signature moments in a player's career. You had a long career, and you're hanging up the skates. It started in Vegas. It ends in Vegas. That moment, we reflect back on it because it was such a powerful moment. What are your memories of that moment? Yeah, it was um, it definitely um, probably go down as the biggest thing of my career that I do. Um, you know, all the games and stuff like that uh, are one thing, but to, to do that and affect uh, uh, so many different people in so many different ways was pretty amazing and uh, special to be the person that got to do it. So um, looking back on that, all the emotions running through uh, before a game, uh, without that uh, are always high, especially the home opener. But um, with that speech coming, it was uh, a, a lot different than any normal game, that's for sure. Derek, congratulations on, on just a wonderful career. And if the definition of perseverance in Derek England's oh, yeah. face is not there, yes. then I don't know uh, who else you could, could put there because you played over 400 games where there's the ECHL, AC, A, ECHL, AHL, you kept grinding away till you finally uh, made your National Hockey League debut quite some years after you were drafted and went on to play just under 700 games. I mean, just remarkable. And can you tell us a little bit about that journey for you? Because you were drafted way back, and I was at training camp with you with the New Jersey Devils when you all started, when everything started for you. Yeah, it was uh, 20 years ago now. I uh, draft, I remember coming in and... Uh, being all in that camp and uh, with you and Scott Stevens, uh, you know, pretty intimidating guys to 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 go out there and uh, be in practice and all that stuff with. But uh, it was an incredible journey, like you said, through the minors uh, for seven years before getting a, a sniff. But um, you know, it was well worth it. I'm I'm uh, fortunate to all the place stops uh, across the country, all the friends I've made and. Um, you know, some great times, uh, you know, the, the weird times driving across the country with uh, no room to recline or anything like that because your truck's still full, you know. Be great memories um, and stories to tell uh, the kids as they get older. One of the stories I tell is during the cup final between Vegas and Washington, being seated at a table next to you and your wife, celebrating a birthday. And by the way, still, thanks for the birthday cake. It was delicious. The fact that your wife said, we know we're playing for history here. We just don't want it to end. It was a genuine love affair between the community and the team and the bond between that team. We always hear the famous quote by Fred Fogg, Shiro, win today and we walk together forever. That group, the Golden Misfits, had a chemistry that was otherworldly. What is your fondest memory of that run? Oh, there, there's so many. Um... You know, first, how the, the team responded to what happened October 1st, I think, is uh, is uh, going to go down uh, a great moment. Just, um, you know, living here for so long and knowing how good the community is and all these guys coming in for camp, uh, you know, finding places and stuff like that for them to go uh, above and beyond in the community was uh, a great thing to see. And um, just the games, I could go over half the games and how, how good of a moment. But, you know, I think um, a big, our father's trip the first year when we went into Nashville and Dallas back to back with uh, Stuby and Maxime Legacy as our goalies and they split the games and we won both of those games. And with the fathers there, it was uh, pretty special. And, um, you know, you, you think back to right around Christmas time when you played Pittsburgh, Wash and Tampa Bay, all three of them, I don't know what order they were in, but we won all three of those games. And I think you kind of start realizing that you got a really good team at that point when you you beat those three teams. So, um, and then going through the playoffs and and seeing the uh, the people and embrace uh, the nights around the city was uh, pretty special. Derek, you won the Mark Messier Leadership Award in 2017-18, and I just want to know what that meant to you because to me. That award is, uh, I grew up with Mark deal. Messier, and that is a big deal. Yep. Uh, I know the leader he was. I was an of him. He was only four years older than me growing up in Edmonton, and he kind of took me under his wing. To win that award, how special was it? 
Yeah, it, it's, um, you know, for a guy like me, I'm, I'm sure you're, you think the same way uh, for, um, to get that award, it's the, the award of all awards, I guess you could say, um, coming from uh, him. Uh, he, like you said, he's uh, the ultimate leader, the ultimate uh, captain, teammate, everything on and off the ice. And just to get up and get um, nominated for that, it was a huge accomplishment and never even really thought about it. It was I didn't even think it was an option before that. And um, to win was uh, just, it was surreal. I, um, you know, just an amazing, uh, amazing uh, feeling, and to go up on stage and and meet him and uh, be up there was just uh, it was just an honor. Um, you see all the other names on there. It was uh, a lot of big names that have done a lot of great things in this uh, in this sport, and to be part of that, it's pretty special. An honor well deserved, and a career well done. Congratulations on a great hockey career, and we wish you all the best in retirement. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.